<clears throat> Madden Holiday is here and we will play all night. Call in sick and sound sincere in tackles will delight. The fridge is packed with drink and meat. The taste of victory sure is sweet. So, I had, um intended to only capture a few more games so that we wouldn't have to look at just boring Madden draft footage, and, well, I wound up taking the 9-8 and Giants to the Super Bowl where they lost to the Jets. You know, it's probably for the best that that didn't play out in real life. New Yorkers would never really shut up about it. Anyway, I know I could have just as easily simulated to the draft, but I was afraid that would result in things like the Giants re-signing Saquon Barkley, and I want to try to keep this as accurate as I possibly can. Not to mention, there was like a major flaw in just playing the moments in this section of the franchise mode, or, you know, maybe even in face of the franchise, I'm not entirely sure. Basically, the timing is just way off. Like, basically, the timing is just way off. Like, for example, they'll put you in with only a few seconds left in the quarter, and there's absolutely no chance you're going to start a play, so why not just wait until the end of the quarter and pick it up from there? Or they'll do it right before the two-minute warning, where, again, I can't get a playoff. Just wait. Do it at the two-minute warning and put me in after that. It just... I really don't like calling plays that never really happen, and to and even to that extent, again, like, if this is for big moments, why not put me in when I can actually follow through and attempt the big moment? Anyway, this is the 2024 NFL Draft Preview, and, well, some of the, here are some of the parameters we're going to be going over here. We're not going round by round, pick by pick. We'll be here forever if we do something like that. I'm just going to go over some of the big points, some likely ideas, who might be a bust, who could be a steal if that kind of happens, and uh, what would be the best fit for each of the teams involved. And also, i got to try to work in a way to get more ad breaks in here, because I know that's what you tune in for. So, uh, we'll get to it. You're staring at me. You look marvelous. Do you know what you'd like? Oh, I've known for some time. I met on a menu. Oh. The Accents Collection. Outrageously rich L'Oreal colors that daringly accent your eyes, deliciously accent your lips, and brilliantly accent your nails. Uh, I've decided what I want. So have I. French eye, lip, and nail accents. The new spirit of chic, captured in color by L'Oreal. Thursday. 50 bucks if I can use the bathroom. A big winner shares his wealth with the 12. 75. And on soap, Bird moves to the fast lane when he decides to run for sheriff. And 2020 looks at the big fix in horse racing and Blondie's amazing comeback. Tomorrow. The 99 Rams pinned their hopes on a new quarterback named Trent Green. And things were looking up until a routine play in the preseason. We've got Trent Green down in the middle of the field. In the final preseason game. We'll rally around Kurt Warner and we'll play good football. An untested backup got his shot to lead the greatest show on turf. Get back to football with all 65 preseason games in HD. Greatness starts here, this August on NFL Network. And now, finally, time for some hot drafting action. Thrilling. Okay, so like I said, we're not going round by round, pick by pick, but uh, I think we already know what uh, a lot of these first picks are going to be, so it does sound like we're going to be doing that a little bit, but trust me, we'll break it up soon. I mean, it's fairly obvious that Caleb Williams is going number one to the Chicago Bears. That being said, the number two pick with the Washington Commanders is still a little iffy. Uh, a lot of the experts are saying they're going to go with Jalen Daniels. However, there's also just as many experts saying it's going to be Drake May or maybe even J.J. McCarthy. Likewise, it's unknown whether or not New England is going to draft a quarterback. I mean, they're still kind of uh, burying the scars of Mac Jones right now, so I don't know if they want to invest in that. And they've said they'd rather try to invest in a free agent quarterback right now. So, again, is that May McCarthy? It's probably not Daniels. I'm guessing he's going to the Commanders right now. Likewise, Adam Schefter has reported that the Vikings, and I believe also the Giants, have inquired to the Patriots about trading up for their pick. So, make of that what you will. We'll get to what the Vikings are going to do a little bit later. 
If you're looking for a non-quarterback to go pretty high, obviously the Arizona Cardinals are pretty set on drafting Marvin Harrison Jr. So that's probably your most likely bet. They're the number four pick. After that, it's uh, the Chargers, where I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do again. This is one of the ones that people are saying the Vikings are going to trade into to get their quarterback. Uh, The Vikings are probably going to wind up with either J.J. McCarthy or Drake May. But if they can't get this trade off, don't be surprised if they take Bo Nix or maybe they uh, draft some offensive line help for a defensive, uh, another, I don't think they'll draft another defensive back, but then maybe save that and try to get like Spencer Rattler in the next round. I mean, I don't think they have a a second round pick, but yeah, maybe they'll pick up a quarterback there. The Raiders have been shown to be pretty high on Michael Penix, so don't be surprised if they draft him. The Broncos have been high on Bo Nix. Uh, they just traded for Zach Wilson. Make of that what you will. But yeah, they're definitely still interested in trying to... Uh, they, they, well, they need to draft a quarterback is what I'm trying to say. Uh, by the way, that Zach Wilson trade is probably going to make for a very interesting Brandon Perna video. But <laughs> I don't know if it's out yet. At least not as I've recorded this. Then there's uh, Georgia tight end Brock Bowers. Uh, I'd say he's probably likely to go to either Atlanta or Tennessee. Uh, Kyle Pitts has not really panned out for Atlanta, but... Again, so, you know, maybe a new tight end, maybe some, uh, you know, another tight end could even just help there. Uh, don't know exactly uh, what Tennessee has planned to do in their offense, but, uh, you know, he would be a, a welcome weapon on that team. Remember, the Bears also have two top ten picks now because of all this trading they did, and it's from the Bryce Young trade. From Also, remember, the Bears only got the number one pick because the Panthers stunk last year, and they traded that pick to get Bryce Young, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so the Bears actually have two top 10 picks, and that next one they're probably going to spend in either a wide receiver or offensive lineman. Uh, they they really need both, but I'm guessing they're going to go receiver. Um, probably uh, the Washington receiver whose name escapes me at the moment. So uh, I'm guessing that's going to be the Bears pick at that spot. And again, um, if the Vikings can't necessarily get a quarterback in the first round, they go offensive lineman. Again, they need help on that. You know, do they, you know, just grit their teeth and ride Sam Darnold, for, Sam Darnold for a year, or, you know, do they maybe pick a Spencer Rattler or someone like that? I'm not entirely sure. As for the two New York teams, I have absolutely no idea what they're going to do. I mean, the Giants have pretty much lost all faith in Daniel Jones at this point, even though they gave him a whole bunch of money last year. So they're obviously looking for a quarterback, even trying to trade up, like I just said. And the Jets might also have to be looking for a quarterback here. I mean, who knows what happens if Aaron Rodgers gets hurt again? Like, you really can't put all your eggs into that basket. Again... You know, just another great unknown. Uh, We'll cover some of the later round ideas I have uh, after the next ad break here. Jigs Formula 44 D, please. Helen, with this nasty cough plus congestion, I need... Formula 44 D. But Helen, I need a decongestant, not just strong cough medicine. You need Formula 44 D. It's strong like Formula 44, has the strongest non-narcotic cough suppressant you can buy. Plus, ingredients to help unstuff your nose and loosen up for chest congestion. That's what I said. Formula 44 D, strong for coughs plus congestion. Jim Abel, what do you wear when you want to feel like a million bucks? My favorite tweed jacket and my millionaire for a minute. Ned Parker, what do you wear when you want to feel like a million bucks? My lucky hat and my millionaire for a minute. Introducing Men and Millionaire, the gold standard of men's colognes. So rich, so masculine, you feel like a million bucks. Paul Marini, what do you wear it with? You have to ask. Men and Millionaire, whatever you wear it with, you feel like a million bucks. IBM presents You Make the Call. Jay Saldy of the Bears is stripped of the ball at the two by Benny Perrin of the Cardinals, who attempts to recover in the end zone, but can get only one foot down inbounds. Now you make the call. Where do you spot the ball? If you're waiting to buy a personal computer, you may have questions about power, expandability, and dollars and cents. For the complete answer, take a close look at IBM. An IBM PC runs thousands of programs, expands easily, and prices are better than ever. So don't wait. Once you take the first step, the rest come easy. IBM Personal Computers. What call did you make? Whether or not the ball was recovered by the defense inbounds, it is still a touchback. 
spot the ball at the 20. Okay, so our next big question is, is anyone going to take a flyer and draft running back in the first round? No. No, they're not. I mean, it's nice that some of the running backs have been getting paid this year in free agency, but yeah, I don't think you're going to see people taking a flyer on a running back in the first round unless they're truly transitional talent, and yeah, there just really aren't any of those in this uh, draft at this moment. So, obviously, you're going to start seeing running backs go in the second, third, and fourth round. The Panthers do have two second round picks. They pretty much need everything, so they could use it on just about anything. I do think this is where Spencer Rattler is going to go. He's probably going to end up going to the Texans. This makes Case Keenum expendable. Again, yeah, uh, much like the last video, I'm getting that from JG9 News. I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, uh, the Texans will probably uh, pick Spencer Rattler there. Uh, going into the day three uh, rounds, the comp yeah, that's where the compensatory picks start to pick up, and I really have no idea. I'm guessing a lot more linemen, maybe some wide receivers, uh, some DBs will be available too. Um, safety is a odd position right now as there's no real huge standout talents available, but there's still plenty of quality uh, defensive backs in the draft. It's just, again, I don't know if you're going to find a, a, a big shutdown corner. You're probably just going to find a lot of serviceable talent there. Also, yeah, I do expect uh, late in the first round, a team like, say, Kansas City, San Francisco, Baltimore, one of those last few teams in the round to trade out and then another team to trade up in, maybe even the Panthers at that point. All in all, the only thing we could truly ever really hope for is that someone finally does draft the inanimate carbon rod. Last and uh, most certainly not least, my pick for Mr. Irrelevant, I think it's going to be uh, Michael Hires, the quarterback from Samford. Uh, he's had a lot of uh, personal workouts with some teams, so uh, I know a lot of people saying undrafted free agent, but you know, don't be surprised if someone thinks he's the next Brock Purdy and decides we'll take him with the final pick. I have no idea what that final pick is. I'll probably look it up and put it on the screen at this point. Okay, uh, we'll wrap things up in the next little segment. They stole Blake Moose Brain. It's a Troy Aikman NFL football from Trey West. So now you can play the way Troy plays with Troy's own favorite plays. Call Troy's two point conversion. Use Troy's exclusive general manager screen to build a Super Bowl champion. They stole Aikman's Brain. It's in Troy Aikman NFL football at Kmart. Who would do such a thing? mission to get Nickelodeon magazine. It's packed with celebrity interviews and comics and puzzles and great stuff to collect. But only a real live grown-up can call to order it for you. Of course, you can think of a nice polite way to ask. Nickelodeon magazine, please. Nickelodeon magazine, please. You never know who will pop in, what will pop out, and it's so good, you'll eat it all up. And you can get Nickelodeon Magazine delivered to your door. Six issues for $9.97. Credit cards are accepted. And grown-ups know it's filled with fun and interesting facts for growing minds. Unbelievable! So don't just stand there. Nickelodeon! There were lots of ways to show you really bought Nickelodeon Magazine. How? Oh, you'll think of something. Nickelodeon Magazine, please. I remember walking in the first day and I said, hey, Mr. Kraft, I said, I'm Tom Brady. It's one of the best decisions you ever made picking. See how the story unfolds. The 75th NFL Draft begins Thursday, April 22nd, live in primetime on NFL Network. Okay, so the next video is going to be the draft recap video, then the random trade review on Punisher Kill Crew. After that, it'll be the review for X-Men 97. Um, and then we'll be doing Backlash 2024. After that, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, on the plus side, I should be uh, restarting my job at some point in the next couple weeks here, so um, that'll help. Um, that being said, it's going to be a while before the, uh, finances meet enough for me to start doing theatrical reviews on a somewhat regular basis again, so whatever review, it's probably going to be stuff on streaming again, just for the time being. Uh, hopefully things will start to pick up. Not trying to be a downer here, just saying... Um, like I said, other than that, uh, don't really know. See you all next time.
Hey guys, remember that you can support my work at patreon.com forward slash sleepy time for cat productions. Also, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell so that way you can be alerted to further videos.